So now in this scenario, we've got a moderate level of block. We're two out of four twitches, right, in the train of four. And we're going to go ahead and reverse with neostigmine. So here's our neostigmine and glycopyrrolate mixture. Okay, we've administered that. We had two out of four twitches on count. We'll again do a train of four count. And we still have two out of four count, which is expected with the slow onset of neostigmine. Okay, we're turning on our quantitative monitor. We're gonna check a, tr a train of four ratio here and we turn it on and again, we see the same thing, two twitches, which means obviously we have a train of four ratio of zero. All right, so uh, some time has elapsed and uh, we're back after our neostigmine reversal to check twitches here with our qualitative monitor. Again, 20 minutes has elapsed. We're gonna do a train of four. We're gonna hope that we have four out of four count without visible fade. We have four twitches, no visible fade. Glenn, how do we look over there? Okay, and again, we need to check this. Now, many patients will recover to a train of four ratio of 0.9 or greater after 20 minutes, but many may not. So again, the only way we're gonna be able to reliably determine is using quantitative monitoring like a top watch. Okay, we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna track our chain of four ratio and okay, it looks like four good twitches and again we see train of four ratio of 108. So again, th this patient is recovered. I think we, at this point we could safely extubate the patient and assume that we've had recovery of pharyngeal and airway protective muscles.